Today, we're going to walk through the process of creating a new MySQL deployment on DigitalOcean through the ScaleGrid DBS platform. Visit scalegrid.io to log in or sign up for your free trial account. On the Getting Started page, select MySQL as your database, DigitalOcean as your cloud, the dedicated hosting plan, then click Create. Enter a unique name for your cluster using alphanumerics, then select the DigitalOcean cloud region for your source server. Then you can select your VM size, version, and NODB as the storage engine. Click Next to move on to Replication, where you can enable a source replica configuration for your MySQL DigitalOcean deployment. Leave the box unchecked and click Next if you want to continue with a standalone deployment. Here, you can customize the number of nodes to use, as well as the synchronization type. Semi-synchronous replication is the default, as it ensures the failover is lossless, since at least one of the replicas has received all the data that the source has committed. Asynchronous replication is also available, but may result in failover to a server that isn't fully synced up to the source, so we're going to use semi-synchronous for this tutorial. Next, select the DigitalOcean data center regions for your secondary replica nodes and click Next. In the advanced step, you can enable SSL for your MySQL deployment. Click Next to move on to firewall rules, where you'll need to enter at least one IP CIDR that will be allowed access to your deployment. You can find your current IP CIDR at the top of the page and copy and paste it in for your firewall rule. Firewall rules can also be customized after your MySQL cluster is created at both the cluster level and the account level. Click Next to reach the final page where you can review a summary of your MySQL DigitalOcean cluster details and click Create to spin up your new cluster. And that's it! The cluster creation process takes about 15 minutes, so while you wait, you can check out the MySQL management tools available throughout the console. Once your cluster is ready, the status will change from creating to running, and you can grab your connection details at the bottom of the overview tab. Visit scalegrid.io to get started, and check out our documentation at help.scalegrid.io docs for step-by-step -step instructions on setting up your account.